when I was younger, I used to have a little model, Airfix model of an Apache and stuff growing up and a couple of posters and things like that. So it's great to be able to work with this sort of airframe. But once you're actually up in the air, you know, you can just enjoy it for all it is. It's a great aircraft to fly from either the front seat where you can fight the aircraft or from the back. It's quite dynamic and it's a responsive aircraft. This is the world's most advanced attack helicopter, the Apache AH-64E. It's a battle winning tool, so we can see further, shoot further. It's a huge capability for the British Army. It's been flying now for about three or four years with the US Army and now with us now. Uh, brilliant aircraft, uh, much improvements in terms of the weapons capabilities, sights and sensors and the digital communications on the aircraft. It's the newest weapon at the Army Air Corps' disposal. An upgrade on an aircraft that's already proved its worth in nearly two decades of service. The Apache attack helicopter is proving itself to be a vital battlefield asset, most notably in the war in Afghanistan. Now this new Apache E model has just come into service and is a massive upgrade on the previous one. This new model can fly longer and faster than its predecessor and is much better at both sea level and at high altitude. It can also carry more weaponry and has improved digital communications, making it a game changer during combat. So previously as a section commander in a rifle company uh, in Afghanistan, I used to see the Apache flying in the overhead. Uh, they were almost like the Guardian Angel uh, up at 2,000 feet. You know, numerous times they got me out of trouble when I needed them. The Army Air Corps' 663 Squadron has come to Scotland from Wattisham Air Station in Suffolk on Exercise Vojek Highlander. The pilots testing themselves flying over the more rugged Scottish landscape on this new and more sophisticated aircraft. So it's brilliant flying up here actually, it's a little bit of a change from Suffolk which is as flat as a billiard table. But up here it's amazing, you get to see Ben Nevis, you get to see all the valleys and we've had brilliant weather uh, that June uh, grant us with this year. Five airframes have been flown to Scotland, with about 120 people living and working on the airfield, keeping these helicopters in the sky. Without the vital work of those on the ground, the pilots and the Apaches wouldn't be able to do their job. We cover sort of any aspect of uh, the ground crew operations, so it goes from anything from deblanking the cabs to getting the covers off, getting them started up, launching them, marshalling them out and then uh, getting them off to their destination. We're massively involved in the arming, loading up of the munitions and the, obviously the refuelling. Um, so without us, the Apache, it can get up in the air with a nice camera on it, but without munitions and fuel on board, it can't really strike or do anything. The Apache helicopter is an iconic combat aircraft, a weapon that strikes fear into those who face it on the battlefield a vital aerial asset to the British Army since 2005. This latest incarnation improves on an airframe that was already a cutting-edge weapon, and this exercise ensures that the soldiers know how to use it effectively. David Sibbles McCann, Forces News, Balado Airfield. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to our channel.